to Jacques' <laughs> Kitchen. Bonjour, welcome to Jacques' Kitchen. Today we are making a chocolate cake. So the ingredients that you will need is 250 grams of sugar, 250 grams of butter, 250 grams of self-raising flour, three eggs, and three tablespoons of uh, cocoa and some hot water and perhaps some caramel as well. So we begin by putting in the 250 grams of sugar, following that in with some butter. You will notice that the butter has a lovely skin on top and we are going to slowly blend it down. So we continue to add the butter to the mixture and continue to blend it up. Welcome to Jack's Kitchen. Today we are making a cake! So today we are making the chocolate cake and if you, if you can see we already have mixed the sugar and the butter together to form a beautiful paste. It is yellow but it is beautiful. Right, so the next thing that we have to do is add about a third of the self raising flour and not spill it on the bench and we're going to add also one egg but first I have to crack it and then we're going to put that in the empty bowl. We're going to blend this up to as well. So now that it is almost nicely blended, we add some more self-raising flour into the mixture, about another third, and follow that in with another egg. And then we continue blending it up. And we're going to do that again with the final third and the, the last egg. Bonjour! Today we are making another cake! <laughs> Welcome back! As you can see, we have mixed the first four ingredients together to form some kind of batter. But now we are going to turn it into a chocolate cake in a red bowl. So what we do is we add the three tablespoons of cocoa into that little bowl. And we get some hot water, not too much, but we just needed to turn the cocoa into some kind of paste. So, we will get first a spoon mix it all together. Now, to this we add perhaps a little bit of caramel and I would say about that much would be good. Uh, just, you know, a squirt or something, whatever you have. And then we mix that in together as well because if we can melt the caramel a little bit, it works really well. So, then we take this and we pour it into the batter nicely like that. And if we need it, we can use this thingy. Ah, I don't know what it's called. I don't speak English too well. So we use a blue thingy from a red ball and pour the brown stuff into the yellow stuff. And then we mix it up as again. Welcome back. So now we are going to get our cake tin and we're going to spray it with oil so that the cake comes out very nicely. So we get our spray oil and just make sure it is very well coated in here with plenty of oil, otherwise it will not slide out so nice. So then we're getting our ready mixed all together batter and pouring it into the cake tin. So now it is all poured in nice and smooth and we are going to stick it in the oven for about uh, half an hour, 40 minutes. It depends on your oven and what kind of cake you have made. If it is like mine, it should hopefully not take very long at all. So what we have to do now is uh, open the oven and take out the cake and we use our very high class cake tester to see that the cake is perfect and then we pull it out of the oven and leave it to cool and then we have a cake! Bonjour and all that crap. Today the producer said that we're not allowed to make any more cakes so um, we're making a garden salad with um, a lettuce and some leftover caramel. I could have made apple cake, mandarin cake, rock melon cake. I love rock melon cake, banana cake, vegetable order cake. I had so many cakes ready to go. 
salt cake. Pepper cake. <laughs> I love pepper cake. <laughs> <laughs> Oh